All right, well, the city of Waco is holding their second meeting. They have held it, as a matter of fact. Slightly changing designs, though, to that much anticipated Brazos Promenade Riverfront development. Fox 44's Maribel Santiago live in the newsroom with the changes that are being made since last month. Well, the purpose of tonight's meeting was to get more feedback on the development's public spaces like the downtown farmers market and also all the area sidewalks. Now, this is the last big input meeting before developers end up taking the next step. I'm just to listen and then to see how it's all going to fit together. Taranja Weaver is a native Wakoan wanting to know more about the plans for the city's multi-million dollar riverfront development downtown. Weaver so far likes the family-oriented atmosphere proposed in the project. The whole family can come together, the friends, family, and everybody together enjoying Waco and what we offer and to make it on a bigger scale I think is going to be nice. The second meeting allows the public another look at the rendering changes, specifically for the farmers market and sidewalk areas from University Parks Drive on the stretch of I-35 to Franklin Avenue. It's a beautiful space, um, but it's a little wonky. It's got, you know, these beautiful oak trees, but, you know, kind of a funny asphalt pattern because of a former use. Um, and so it's kind of hard to design around. City Center Waco says developers added a music lawn, more parking, and trolley stops. Also focusing on the kinds of trees the public wanted to cultivate in the development. The challenge um, the city gave the developer was keep those trees, uh, make this a space that the farmer's market can come back to, um, and use the opportunity to maybe even expand on the usefulness of the space. The public also wanting more walkability for the downtown area so it's more accessible to everyone in Waco. People People need to be able to get from downtown across the highway and back again. They need to be able to get to all of these different businesses. If people live downtown, they need to be able to get around. I don't want anybody excluded from being able to say this is my home. Now after tonight's meeting, developers are taking the final input from the public and then they're going to send that off to developers and con or to contractors and engineers to break ground in the fall. Now coming up at 930, we'll tell you what the biggest concerns were sprouting from both of these meetings. Live in the newsroom, Maribel Santiago, Fox 44 News.